Hi, can you hear me? Ooh. Okay, we are having some technical difficulties. Sorry, I'm a little late. Let's see. Give everybody a minute to log on. Okay, hi, good morning. Welcome to Get Outside with Girl Scouts. I'm Stephanie Vick. I'm uh, with Girl Scouts Carolina's Peaks to Piedmont, serving Central and Western North Carolina. Um, today we are going to be making magic wands. So I need everybody to go outside and find a stick. So and as you know, uh, you don't pick a wand, a wand picks you. So go ahead and find a stick, give it a couple swishes, see how it feels in your hand. I've got a couple of different options here I'm going to choose from. I'm not seeing any comments, so hopefully, hopefully you guys are out there. Um, so our net, the other supplies you need are just anything you have laying around. So I've got some paints here, and of course some paint brushes. I've got a recycled cookie box to use as my paint palette. I've got some ribbon, scissors. Let's see, what else do I have? I've got some tool. I thought that might be fun. Um, some streamers. So you could check in your, maybe your birthday party supplies. I've got tissue paper. Uh, I wanted to find some beads, but I couldn't find any, so I found a bunch of buttons. Hi, Leslie! To use as beads, and then I've got wire, some string, glue, so whatever you have laying around, you can use anything that feels right for your magic wand. Uh, I made one earlier, and on this one I put some Sunday comics on the end. I put Garfield on there because I liked the colors on it and then I painted some stripes and then put some glitter on the tip. So if you guys are crafting along with me I want you to comment about what kind of supplies you have in your house um, and then once you're all done you can share a picture with me so I can see what your magic wand looks like. And then you can join us here every day Monday through Saturday. Um, to do some more Get Outside with Girl Scouts fun. So tomorrow, June, who's in our comments today to help you with any questions, is gonna be showing you about all kinds of fun nature things you can find in your backyard. So I think for mine, I'm gonna get started um, with this stick, because I like the handle on it, and I'm going to wrap some ribbon around it. Has anyone else out there found their sticks already? Hi, Amanda, hi, June. So I'm going to choose this pink ribbon. I'm going to tie it here and then maybe wrap it around like a handle. What are you guys doing with your sticks? Now on this one that I painted, I painted it white first because I wanted it to be really bright colors, but you don't have to do that. I got some other here that were painted. I don't know if you can really see the colors. These were painted um, without painting it white first. And you just use whatever supplies you have. So for this one, I'm gonna wrap it around, kind of crisscross it. This is a great craft to do um, I call it like a stash busting craft. So you can do with whatever you have at home and make it to fit your personality however you want. I had a Girl Scout friend one time that made one by wrapping all black ribbon around and then she attached safety pins to it. So it was really opposite of, you know, my 
bright pink and lime green one, but it matched her personality, so that was really cool. Or other people just, um, I've had some girls that have just put a whole bunch of ribbons on there dangling off. So whatever you want to do. So if you are just joining us, we're making magic wands. So go out to your yard, grab a stick, and then get whatever supplies you have and get your imagination flowing. If you guys want any more information about Girl Scouts, you can visit www.beagirlscout.org. We've got a lot of fun virtual things going on in the next couple weeks, um, including these 11 o'clock lives where we're getting outside. And then every day um, on our Girl Scouts Carolina's Peaks to Piedmont Facebook page at 4 and 7, there's also some lives. Tonight is family game night, so you can join me at 7 o'clock tonight. So I wrap that one around. It kind of looks like a ballet-themed magic wand. Let's see. What else should I add to it? I think for this one I want some tool hanging off the end. I think that feels pretty magical. What do you think? This is a craft I first did at Girl Scout camp. And if you are interested in our camps, you can visit www.camplikeagirl.com or .org, I'm sorry. And you can hang out with us at Girl Scout camp, make crafts, go on hikes, swim, all kinds of fun things. Okay, so I hope I see in your comments, I hope you can share some pictures of the magic wands you make. Let's see, I think the last thing this one needs is some buttons. What kind of supplies do you guys have around the house? What are some creative things you could think of that I didn't have? And if you don't have what I have, that's okay. Um, like I said, I wanted to have beads, but I couldn't find any, so instead I'm gonna use buttons. So I'm gonna string it on this wire, just kind of like if it were a bead. And I think I want mine to kind of be shooting off the end, like that's the magic coming out of my wand. So I'm gonna use wire and wrap it around. Maybe I'll give it a curly cue too. Let's see, let me find some more buttons. Where else is everybody watching from? I see we've got Guilford County. Where else are you guys from? Okay, so I'm going to wrap this one around too, shooting off the end. And give that one a little bit of a curly cue. That kind of looks like antenna, so I think I'm going to add one more. And then I think this pink, this is more like a fairy magic wand. I think this one might be done. <laughs> I'm adding food to mine to dangle in front of my. That's a great idea. <laughs> Good thinking, Mindy. Yeah, you could definitely, you could add a marshmallow onto that wire. That'd be a good, or maybe some Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> oh, Amanda has foil. Oh, that's a great idea. Foil, beads, glue, and glitter. You could also use hot glue. You don't have to do this craft outside if you want to use some hot glue with an adult. Okay. So, I don't want to point this guys at you because I don't this wand at you guys because I don't want any you know magic flying out through the internet at you. But I think mine is all done. So just as a reminder, if you want to learn some more about Girl Scouts, head over to beagirlscout.org. And if you're interested in summer camp, check out camplikeagirl.org. Bells to distract my dogs. That's a great idea. I've got I think I've got bells in my um 
my kit here too. That's a good one. That'd be good to put on the end. You could, this could be a cat toy too. A magic wand cat toy. So that's great. So we will see you, June will see you tomorrow at 11 a.m. for her outdoor activity. And then hopefully I'll be seeing you tonight at seven for game, family game night. And then there's another one at four. Um, I'm not sure what that one is, but uh, put all your pictures of your wands in the comments and let me know that you were crafting along with me. So I will see you next time, guys. Bye.